stats in favor, despite this literally being my personal worst matchup. It's a neutral thing for me. It's hard. Uh, it, it, Atlas is never easy. Yeah, he's <laughs> big, and you can easily just get some kicks and just decimate him with, like, you know, a couple seconds. But and yeah, when you're in advance, you go, in. this character's great. I love fighting it. Yeah. And then you're in neutral, and they're dash attacking, wave dashing back, and you go, man, this is terrible. <laughs> Bagel has no air dodge. He's dead. Yeah. You have to save your air dodges, Atlas. If you don't, you're just completely dead. It's the worst case against Raster because you can just get down smashed or dare oh, spike. Good. You yeah. are a sitting duck. You have to save your air dodge as this character or you just get destroyed off stage. I know Most one valuable thing. Thing. Hmm? Most valuable resource, yeah. Absolutely. I know one thing Bagel loves to do off stage is that whole up B and then just like air dodge <laughs> as soon as you come close and then like jump and like fair armor back on stage for safe landings. But you can air dodge while charging up B to like mix up your timing. Absolutely. Which can be I, really I know, good if you use it rarely. Uh, some uh, analysts will use their up B and then air dodge out of their up B into an up air to get another uh, up B back, which is hilarious. So, yeah, you gotta be really, really careful about them trying to reverse the edge guard on you. I know a Ooh. very, very nice set conversion for Big. I know one of the biggest things he loves to do in advantage is just try and go for tech chase reads. Like, he's doing it right there. He uses the wave dash back in order to catch the tech in. Using down tilt one to just put your opponent in such an awkward spot. I love it. Yeah. A lot of innovation coming out from Bagel. He hasn't been playing too often, but there's definitely some changes in his playstyle that I've noticed. I really appreciate that. I know he also has a Zetter that he's played a few times. Yeah, so the Zetter is originally out. a counter pick against Absa, and it's had mixed results. He actually played Endless against Niceness earlier, so he's probably just putting down the back burner. Hmm. I know I personally had a lot more success against his Zetter burn than his Edelus, despite it literally being it against be Absa. More of a playstyle counter pick at that point, right? Yeah. Ooh, miss the Dacus, you get bared. All right, this is technically an even game. Kashi just needs one Absa moment. Against a character like Edelus, this is extremely doable. Absolutely. He gets one Nair and a kick for a face to him into a kick, and Bake would just die right here. Ooh, uh, okay, yeah. Some questionable DI that, on that, that bear back is here. tricky. Uh, you're afraid of the up air, you're afraid of whatever he's going to set up into it. And yeah, you just can't with back air while holding hard out. Yeah. Been there a million and one times. Oh, and they were jabbing too. Yeah. Yeah, they were doing a jab, so they probably had their control stick completely neutral. That's really hard to react to quickly. Interesting bands coming out from Bagel. It's going to be Tempest, Spirit, and Triple. I think those are amazing bands. I remember when I played against Bagel locally at Genesis. Uh, it was Glyph 7. He literally looked him in the eyes as he banned Triple because he knows it's, it's so bad for Endless. It's so good for Absa. I don't blame him at all. Julius Bell's a neutral pick. I think it's also one of Absa's better stages. Very no good neutral okay. Pick. I, I know, know uh, some Atlas's like this stage a lot too. Kind of gives you FD vibes, right? Big open space. With the platform that comes around occasionally. Ooh, Ooh down the stairs he the goes. Tech. He has no air dodge, but the fair armor saved him there. If Akasha got Surprising. a sweet spot, Bagel would have definitely died. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think sweet would have broken through, right? I love these aggressive pairs. It's unfortunate he didn't quite get enough height on that one, but... Nice. He's still had time to convert so that because of all the, the lack of hit style on that up air. Akashi played really, really good here. Um, He's really bringing all of his stocks today. This stock is looking... You know, I was going to say this is looking really good for him, but then I look at the percentage and... No, Akashi just happened to find the kill first. Bagel's actually been playing phenomenal. I appreciate that little wait there with the crouch. I think that was a confidence thing. Just like saying, like, hey, you're going to parry your roll here and I'm just going to wait. That's beautiful. Very no, good yeah, catch they on the can't attack it on the platform. Who's gonna eat him off there? Usually the DI on that is holding straight down and rolling the stick in, but there was no situation where that would have saved it. Yeah, that was These a lot of These cloud kicks are so good to cover all that space. It's so hard for Endless to get back if the Absa just has... He can just react to how far the Endless is gonna go. Fortunately for him, though, the platform was there as well, so we have an extra little mix-up. Oh, okay. I think Bagel might be dead here. It's a little... Yeah, it was a little scary because Akashi kind of expended some of his resources. Oh, he missed it! So really yes. good DI from Bagel, but yeah, Kashi just started that up there just a little early. Hmm. Kashi has a really sizable lead here. Super. It was really good catching Bagel with really high recovery there. He didn't even need a cloud to catch that. He just kicked him out of the air. Sniped him like that. I love that little neutral there, but he's just dash dancing on his ice. Well, Endless dash dancing, so dash attacking back and forth, but Basically, same idea. They just like a real dash dancing. <laughs> nice up there. Doing a deep up air would have been super risky, so that was probably the safest option oh. so I can get back on stage. You'll love to see it, Bagel. You'll love to see it. 
A bear. Ooh, platform Whoa. extension. Oh, that was so close. So close Almost to a SpaceX. Oh, we are done. Akashi's like, what do you mean so close? Akashi's, he's just not letting him land. He hasn't landed yet, right? It was like five up airs in a row. Oh, goodness. It's Akashi so is Yep, Bagel's air dodge. That the was risky. Blood, man. He took it all on that chance. Akashi I thought, faded back and just kicked him for it. I thought when Bagel spiked him with up B that, you know, the set was going to turn around. That was going to be the big turning point. No, he just made Akashi really mad, I guess. And uh, Akashi yeah. came back out he's for blood. pissed. Goodness, that was rough. All right, cool. Well, we saw a lot of life. Um... <laughs> I love the instant replays. We saw a lot of life that game from both players. So this set could easily go game five. Yeah. This Rockwell. is another of those really risky picks, just like you mentioned with uh, Niceness versus Giga Bowser. I think this is like also extremely risky. Akashi's not much of the Absoma type Absa, but in this matchup, everyone is. There. Yeah. Everyone is. <laughs> Even though he's usually not the type to just like get those zero to death combos, he's much of a neutral base kind of just not only defensive, he's starting to mix it up recently. But he's not just one of those apps kind of like me where I'll just like suck out a bunch of bears and go for his win condition. So this might be a pretty good pick for Bagel. I definitely respect him though. Let's see how it plays out. I know that uh, Chomp has begun to really like this stage more, too, and he's my only really source on the Animal stuff, but um, this stage is solid. It, it's huge, right? I can absolutely Big, see Big, massive right stage, which you can DI out safely, and uh, let's be real. Animal's Dax is across the whole stage. He doesn't mind the stage yeah, line. Fair, fair. It doesn't matter uh, if you have the you armor. armor. It just sets That's him up for cute. perfect range. <laughs> Off the side you go. He's dead either way. Kashi controlling space really well with those clouds. Bagel hasn't parried a single one, even though it's risky to do so. Probably has he committed has to, like, to trying to at all? I haven't caught it yet. No, no, he hasn't really been trying to at all. I think it's just it's just risky because you never actually... There's oh, one. there's one. Okay, cool, yeah. Commentator's curse. At some point, you start to notice, okay, I need to make them respect me more because they're just chucking it at me. Yeah. And even if you whip the parry, they're probably going to throw a lot less. Ooh, pop up air. Ooh. Nice conversion there. Too bad it didn't kill. That was super, super clean. Yeah, he is still in a bad spot. Yeah, now he's you just... You're at a disadvantage until you hit the air. So again, man. <laughs> now he's just conditioned Bagel to fear and he's whiffing all of these parries and he just has free leeway. Bagel's respecting the cloud and now it's a source of pressure. Ooh, yep, nice. episode up air ledge. If you hold out, you might get fared. If you hold in, straight up air. It's so risky in that situation. Akashi is in full control right now. Whoa. There nice. it is. Zach is there. You think that little extension with the down tilt or to That was cute. Yeah, yeah, that was really I'm nice. starting to see like Menace do that a lot too. Definitely some interesting stuff coming out. Oh, Bagel would love to hear that he uh, was heavily inspired by Menace 13. I think, <laughs> I think he'd really like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Good STI there, but man, Bagel risky. knew. Yeah, Bagel. That's what I love to see when someone plays a nice character. Armor. I'm surprised that still did that it. Awesome. I know it's knockback based for, um, for Edelus' fair armor. That was a really clean last so I'm really last surprised knock. I was able to go through. Bagel was whiffing out these Dacuses. Now he's in full control. 2-1 up the set. That's a player who is super comfortable with his character, too. Like, character crisis aside, I feel like Bagel knows Atlas well, you know? Yeah. Like, there was so much in that last stock, so many little interactions. Going for fair armor there, he knew it wasn't going to break. He was fine. He knew Akashi was going to fall out of the down air, so he already had the follow-up ready. Bagel has probably oh, stunned this matchup it. more than any other one. One of the most scariest things he's done to me is that when Absa will do, like, F tilt 2, he'll just, like, short hop fair armor and land and then be on plus for that, which is terrifying. That's really He did scary. that close range against me with my F tilt 2. Short hop, fair armor, land, and then he was on plus, and it just beat me up for it. Ooh. He's done so much work in this Four matchup. Four Now this, I think personally, is one of my favorite stages of this. Uh, Chomp loves it, one of his favorite. Um, it's big, it's open, the platforms really don't hurt him. He can interact with both these platforms easily, so you really can't camp them. I can definitely see it. I know a lot of apps domains love this. I'm personally not the biggest fan of it just because of the open space, but it's definitely a good apps stage. I think Inner top blast there's not very many bad action blasts. stages, are there? <laughs> no, there's really not. We have like blazing and gates, and I've literally made Academy homework posts to people who stop banning those. Because you can do up <laughs> one movement there to make it to offset the problem. That's I know cool. we I no longer hate gates, and I'm trying to encourage all the younger abses to not hate those stages as well. So you can use your bands for matching specific things instead of like, oh wow, I can't up to on this platform to shine. No, oh, Bango doesn't have an air dodge. Yeah, the, oh, he got it back from there. That was super risky though. That was crazy, man. That was so aggressive. Yeah. The confidence. Oh, love to see it. He was feeling himself right now. This is a matchup that's definitely something he's had to struggle with. canceled that one. That was interesting. What if he's going to like just try to look for crash cancels on those clouds now? 
Safer, yeah, it's probably a best idea. Mode. I definitely suggest that. I know Windows does that a lot. One thing he suggested, instead of going for the parry, which is risky, especially as a character like Raster, you can just crouch cancel it and get data on their cloud habits. So if they hit you with it, what, you get like maybe four damage on you. Pretty and much. you can see like, oh, they're going to throw it on top of me and, like in Ooh. a certain way. Like Bale's Bale's gets care. a little more too, right? Because he slides. So yeah. you can crouch cancel and get some distance. Definitely. <laughs> It's kind of like the whole red light, green light thing with the cloud. You can just like run up, crouch, cancel, and gain some distance. That's fresh. Yeah. Ooh, we're, 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 got, we all got mixed there. Bagel is definitely in control. Bagel in a really good spot here. Even though he's been like having a really hard time carrying these clouds, it just doesn't matter because he's getting so much more off these punishes. <laughs> like, I don't think he's carried a down. single one like, correctly. He's attempted to. Yeah, but he he, has he's winning like, all of them, them, but he's still winning off it. It just doesn't matter. Even if you whiff a parry, I mean, you might still be plus. <laughs> yeah. Just get some data on them, figure out their habits, and then just, like, and then just pretend you don't a, know what you're doing. Not a cloud between you and them. Their fastest options are all pretty close to their body, especially in the air, so. He was whiffed it out for that, but he chose to up be there, so he's just a sitting duck. It's hard to, like, reactively air dodge in that kind of situation. Oh, absolutely. I don't blame him for dropping Oh, head. gosh, wait. If, if this he, is now doable. This is totally doable. Just just a couple abs and kicks and bagels and kicks in game five. Maybe even the Thunder Line? I mean, uh, it is the, what, Akashi Line? The Kashi Line special. He throws out the Thunder Lines in tense, nervous situations. You know he wants one. He's probably going to go for one, like, right over here. Ooh, bagels, no air dodge. Really good aggressive nair to just stuck him out. Even though it didn't do Whoa. too much. Whoa! Yeah, Dak is oh inconsistent, gosh, but it works out it. anyway. That actually took it. Nice. Bagel wins. Oh, I love to see it. That's so cute. Everyone here is pretty close friends. Everyone here is super sweet. I love to see it. That was a good set. Akashi really just showing what he's made of. Oh, yeah. He's really proven himself once again. He's always been doing pretty well at most events. But... And Taps in general has always been kind of his uh his place to shine, as it yeah, seems. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a big regional guy. He is pride for his region. He shows up. He really hosts at the TO events out in Brooklyn. He's there basically every single week. Definitely putting in his part for the community. We love Akashi. Hmm. All right. Next up, we have Penguin ZB. So, you know, just in case you guys haven't seen enough Absa just yet, we're going back in. We've got three Abs in the top eight. Abs again on the map today. ZB's probably going crack, right? ZB's going crack. He's yeah. not going endless. Also, quick fun fact. I did a little bit of research on our... On our winner semis matches, Penguin.